Hi, this is Asin. You are now watching Asin Mad TV. Today, I would like to share the Maryland series of sine square x. As you share we let f x be equal to the function, which is sine square x. At point x is equal to 0, sine 0 is 0, 0 square is still 0. Let's differentiate the function with respect to x, but we differentiate power bring down and power loss 1. So, which means that we have sine to the power 1x, or simply sine x. And we should apply the chain rule and differentiate sine x. We obtain cos x and this is equal to sine 2x by using the trigonometric double angle identity at point x is equal to 0 2 times 0 is 0 sine 0 is still 0 let's differentiate for the second time differentiate sine is cos angle 2x remain differentiate the angle we have 2 at point x is equal to 0 we have cos 0 is 1, 1 times 2 is equal to 2. Differentiate the function with respect to x for the third time. We have 2 times 2 is equal to 4. Differentiate cos is negative sine. Angle remain 2x. At point x is equal to 0, we have 0. Let's differentiate for the fourth time with respect to x. We have negative 4 times 2 is negative 8. Differentiate sine is cos, angle remain 2x. So at point x is equal to 0, we have negative 8. If we lazy to differentiate further, up to this point, we should be able to generalize the value of the n derivative at point x is equal to 0. From here, we can notice that only even derivatives with non-zero values. So we should take 2n instead of n. And all the values here are the multiples of 2. So we should take from here, we can see that this is 2 to the power of 1 and this is equal to negative 2 to the power of 3. Supposedly, we have power 1, power 3, power 5, and so on. So we take 2n minus 1. And the plus minus sign should be alternately plus minus plus minus and so on. So we should have negative 1 to the power of n plus 1. And n from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and so on. With the generalized formula at point x is equal to 0, let's obtain the first 5 non-zero terms. When n is equal to 1, we have 2 times 1 is equal to 2, which means that this is the second order or the second derivative. At point x is equal to 0, we have 2 to the power of 2 minus 1, which is equal to 1, and we times negative 1 to the power 1 plus 1 is equal to 2, and end up we should have 2. Next, we have 2 times 2 is equal to 4, which is the fourth derivative. At point x is equal to 0, we have 2 to the power 3 times minus 1 to the power 3, and this is equal to negative 8. When n is equal to 3, we have 3 times 2 is 6, which is the sixth derivative. At point x is equal to 0, we have 2 to the power of 5 times negative 1 to the power of 4, and this is equal to 32. When n is equal to 4, 4 times 2 2 is equal to 8. At point x is equal to 0, we have 2 to the power of 7 times negative 1 to the power of 5, which is equal to negative 128. And for the fifth term, which is the 10th derivative, we should have 2 to the power of 9 times negative 1 to the power of 6, and this is equal to 512. With all these five values, we can now form the Merrill-Lin series. So which means that sine square x is equal to the value 2 over second derivative, so divided by 2 factorial x to the power of 2. And we plus the next term, which is minus 8. And this is for the fourth derivative, so 4 factorial x to the power of 4, plus the next term, which is 32, divided by the sixth derivative, so 6 factorial x to the power of 6 and the next term is negative 128 divided by the 8 derivative a factorial x to the power of 8 and we plus the next term 512 divided by the 10 derivative so 10 factorial x to the power of 10 and so on evaluate the value we should obtain x squared positive negative negative 1 over 3 x to the power of 4 plus 2 over 45 x to the power of 6 minus 1 over 315 x to the power of 8 plus 2 divided by 14,175 x to the power of 10 and so on and hence fit that okay that's all for this video thanks for watching hope you like this see you